what does it mean to overcome the world? Second, how do we do it? And third, how does overcoming the world bless our lives? What does it mean to overcome the world? It means overcoming the temptation to care more about things of this world than the things of God. It means trusting the doctrines of Christ more than the philosophies of men. It means delighting in truth, denouncing deception, and becoming humble followers of Christ. It means choosing to refrain from anything that drives the Spirit away. It means being willing to give away even our favorite sins. Now, overcoming the world certainly does not mean becoming perfect in this life, nor does it mean that your problems will magically evaporate, because they won't. And it does not mean that you won't still mistake, make mistakes. But overcoming the world does mean that your resistance to sin will increase. Your heart will soften as your faith in Jesus Christ increases. Overcoming the world means growing to love God and His beloved Son more than you love anyone or anything else. How then do we overcome the world? King Benjamin taught us how. He said that the natural man is an enemy to God and remains so forever unless he yields to the enticings of the Holy Spirit and putteth off the natural man and becometh a saint through the atonement of Christ the Lord. Each time you seek for and follow the promptings of the Spirit, each time you do anything good, things that the natural man would not do, you are overcoming the world. Overcoming the world is not an event that happens in a day or two. It happens over a lifetime as we repeatedly embrace the doctrine of Christ. We cultivate faith in Jesus Christ by repenting daily and keeping covenants that endow us with power. We stay on the covenant path and are blessed with spiritual strength, personal revelation, increasing faith, and the ministering of angels. Living the doctrine of Christ can produce the most powerful, virtuous cycle, creating spiritual momentum in our lives. As we strive to live the higher laws of Jesus Christ, our hearts and our very natures begin to change. The Savior lifts us above the pull of this fallen world by blessing us with greater charity humility, generosity, kindness, self-discipline, peace, and rest. Now you may be thinking this sounds more like hard spiritual work rather than rest. But here's the grand truth. While the world insists that power, possessions, popularity, and pleasures of the flesh bring happiness. They do not. They cannot. What they do produce is nothing but a hollow substitute for the blessed and happy state of those who keep the commandments of God. The truth is that it is much more exhausting to seek, seek happiness or you can never find it. However, 
when you yoke yourself to Jesus Christ and do the spiritual work required to overcome the world, he and he alone does have the power to lift you above the pull of this world. Now, how does overcoming the world bless our lives? The answer is clear. Entering into a covenant relationship with God binds us to Him in a way that makes everything about life easier. Please do not misunderstand me. I did not say that making covenants makes life easy. In fact, expect opposition because the adversary does not want you to discover the power of Jesus Christ. But yoking yourself with a Savior means you have access to his strength and redeeming power. I reaffirm a profound teaching of President Ezra Taft Benson. Quote, Men and women who turn their lives over to God will discover that he can make a lot more out of their lives than they can. He will deepen their joys, expand their vision, quicken their minds, lift their spirits, multiply their blessings, increase their opportunities, comfort their souls, raise up friends, and pour out peace. Close quote. These incomparable challenges follow those who seek the support of heaven to help them overcome this world. To this end, I extend to members of the entire church the same charge I gave to our young adults last May. I urge them then, and I plead with you now, to take charge of your own testimony of Jesus Christ and his gospel. Work for it, nurture it so that it will grow, feed it truth. Don't pollute it with false philosophies of unbelieving men and women. As you make the continual strengthening of your testimony of Jesus Christ your highest priority, watch for miracles to happen in your life. <laughs>